Hello there everyone, welcome to Funko Poppers! Today we have got a review of the Night King Funko Pop um, which we got while we was on Disney while we was on our Disney holiday, sorry um, video link is up here so uh, that's for the haul so make sure you go check that out now let's just jump straight into this review because we got so many reviews to get through and uh, try to get you guys caught up, obviously. Okay guys, so here we are with the Night King uh, pop. Now, as you can tell, he is a glow-in-the-dark uh, pop. So, he is part of the Game of Thrones series and he is number 44. So, it's, this is our first um, actual... Uh, glow in the dark pop. So let's have a look anyway on the back. So, on the back, as you can tell, it's all the other pops which are part of the series. And uh, there's so many pops, we're not going to go through them like we normally do uh, because there's so many of the Game of Thrones. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get him out of the box and actually. Uh, Show you guys him. Just move this over here for now. Here he is. Once it focuses, there we go. So he's he is a lovely pop. As you, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. On his head, you can actually see like the ice cells where he's frozen, and almost like it's cracking on his head because obviously he's the Night King part of the. Uh, White Walkers, isn't he? He's in charge of the White Walkers. Now, he's actually a very, very nice pop. His uh, outfit actually, his outfit actually looks more like a samurai suit than any anything else. With the way the shoulders protections come over, so these bits come over the body. Uh, armor and the way it's even plaited or not plaited sorry riveted is the words because it's got like little little holes in the uh, pop like in the armor to like show the layers where it goes down and it's quite good how he is all blue because even though he is glow in the dark and so they normally well, I find they normally that weird sort of greeny colour. He's actually more on the blue side, which is cool. I think he... No, I thought he had uh, something up with his teeth, but it was just... It was just the lighting. So, that's him. He is self-standing, as you can see. So, no stand needed. He is a very, very, very light pop. There's not a lot of weight to him. And I think he's the only glow in the dark from the Game of Thrones set, or is one of the, or maybe one of the the wolves is glow in the dark as well. But I, he's def, yeah, he's he will be probably the only glow in the dark we get, mainly because we saw him on the shelves and we was like, oh yeah, we, we want him. He actually looked better on the shelves than he did online. Which I highly recommend that if you're ever in a shop, definitely pick him up. He's a good pop for, uh, especially for you out of box collectors, because when it's night time and you've got the lights off, you'll just be sitting on your shelf glowing, glowing away. But he doesn't glow too well, we found in the box. I think it's because the plastic limits the amount of light coming through. It definitely does. Dim, dim, and the light it gives off. So anyway, guys, that's all for this pop. Um, we hope you like it, and if you do, hit the thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button. That's all for now. See ya.